First, the opponent's arm works as a lever to optimize your control. Second, your own back serves as a pivot point for the throw. The strength and stability of your back allows you to throw a much heavier opponent than in a move that requires you to lift him. Working much like a nutcracker, your forearm and biceps apply pressure to your opponent's carotid arteries. Located on either side of the trachea, these two arteries are the only way to get blood to the brain. It can take less pressure than squeezing an orange to stop the flow of blood to the arteries. And with no blood flow, the brain shuts down almost instantly. Fight over. One of judo's best known throws is the uchimata. To execute it, a judoka grabs an opponent and pulls, off balancing him and giving him a forward momentum. Then he twists his hips and inserts his thigh beneath his opponent's center of gravity. His hip now becomes a fulcrum and his leg a lever, just like a crowbar. The trick is having your leg in just the right place. It's just physics. If you're just an inch off the placement of your thigh and hip, the amount of energy needed to throw an opponent can more than double. But performed correctly, Uchimata requires almost no energy, yet it can deliver up to 5,000 pounds of force, about like falling from the top of a seven-foot ladder. If it weren't for the mat, a throw like Uchimata would be enough to cause serious injury, or even paralysis. Getting dominant position is critical to securing the Okuri Irijimi choke in Judo. Once you're positioned behind your opponent, you roll forward using your momentum, multiplied by the leverage of your leg, to bring him to his back. Then, wrap your legs around his body, forcing his arm upwards while your hand pulls his gi across his neck. The collar of the gi reduces the flow of blood to the brain to a trickle, and ends the match. Hold this move for about 10 seconds, and a fighter will black out. Hold it just a little bit longer, and he's dead. Another effective move in Judo is the sacrifice throw. Falling backwards as your opponent charges pulls your opponent off balance. Then, you drive one leg into his midsection to guide his momentum, lifting his center of gravity up and over and hurling him to the mat. The sacrifice throw is a simple lesson in the conservation of energy. The stronger the opponent attacks, the further he gets thrown. It works like a catapult where your opponent's momentum supplies the counterweight. The faster he's going, the further he's going to fly, and the harder he's going to land. The most agile move is the scissor takedown. It begins by hooking your arm under your opponent's and clamping down on his sleeve for control. The knee is then kicked up and the leg splays out across the opponent's chest. You then rotate your hips, swing your other leg around his backside and sweep his legs from behind. The downward force exerted on his gi pulls your opponent across his tipping point. Along with your body weight, you generate enough instability in your opponent to drive his body to the mat, like a child tossing around a rag doll. Throw. It begins by cross-grabbing an opponent's sleeve under the armpit, stepping in with one foot between his legs, and grabbing the back of his belt. Then, with a jump and a quick twist with your feet, you bend forward and back your hips underneath your opponents. To finish the move, you lean forward, bring your feet together, and flip him over your hip, slamming him hard to the mat. There are lots of ways to get your opponent into position for the Jujigatame armbar, but the most dynamic is to grab both his wrists and fall backward. Then, use your weight and the force of gravity to pull your opponent to you, catching him with your legs and slamming into the mat, while keeping his elbow isolated at your hips and his wrist at your chest. By bending the elbow across the fulcrum of your hips, you're subjecting the weak joint to the leverage of two strong forces, the pull of your thighs on his shoulder and your hands on his wrist. As little as 1,000 pounds of force can be enough to destroy the elbow, the leverage of the armbar can supply much more than that. The Uchimata throw, the Okuri Irijimi chokehold, the sacrifice throw, and the Jujigatame armbar. These are the moves of a judo human weapon.